about that well? So let me kind of show you a different method you can take a look at, you can work with. Um, one thing, guys, remember when we're verifying our trigger identities, we want to get rid of our fractions, right? Get rid of the fractions. Um, that's when you're simplifying. Well, if we notice this left side's a fraction and this one's not a fraction, that means I need to make this left side not be a fraction anymore, right? If I want to verify that they're equal to each other. So one thing we could do, and the reason why I'm going to do this is I know a way to get rid of my fractions is if I kind of put this over 1 times 1 over cotangent theta. Okay? That's, I didn't change anything mathematically. All I did was I undid my fraction as a multiplication. Because if you were to multiply these across, right, cosecant squared times 1 and 1 times cotangent is still going to give you my fraction, right? Uh -huh. But the reason why I separated them is because, remember, we have reciprocal property. We have our reciprocals. What is 1 over cotangent? What's the, what is that uh, 1 over cotangent? Tangent. Is reciprocal is tangent. So therefore, what I did is I can pretty much rewrite these without having my fractions. So I can rewrite this as cosecant squared of theta times tangent of theta. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing um, that I look into is I look at my uh, Pythagorean identities and I see cosecant, um, cosecant squared is going to give me one, uh, will give me one plus cotangent, right? Which you could go ahead and simplify and then multiply you know, your tangent by and see what you can do. Uh, but one thing I notice is on this right side, I want, I need to have two terms multiplied by each other, right? So what I want to do is I kind of want to keep these as two terms multiplied by each other. So one thing I might want to do, one thing that I wrote down that I told you guys funny is look for ways you can cancel things out and simplify them, right? Where can you cancel things out? Well, how are we going to cancel out cosecant and tangent? What do we need to change these two? Uh, you could change cosecant to 1 over sine and tangent to sine over cosine. 1 over sine squared. And yes, sine over cosine, right? We can tr convert them to sines and cosines. So if you get stuck, you don't know what to do, convert them to sines and cosines. And again, this is off your identities, which I you know, told you guys to have. So you can just go and convert them in. Now, like I said, I'm just trying some things. Those will cancel out. I'm left with one over sine, which is cosecant of theta. And I'm left with 1 over cosine, which is secant of theta. Okay? Which equals absolute minus sine. So therefore, this is, I verified this as an equal.